Hello everyone, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in ChatGPT4 or ChatGPT Plus, and I'm gonna show you how to create professional logos in seconds. This is crazy. Not only that, we're going to vectorize the logo. So we're gonna create, we're gonna create a prompt using the photorealistic app inside ChatGPT4, then we're gonna switch it into Midjourney, and we're gonna create a image of a logo in Midjourney, then we're gonna bring it back, we're gonna vectorize it, and then we're gonna even add some text onto it. This is completely changing the graphic design world in my opinion, so let's just get going. The first step here is we wanna use the photorealistic plugin that's part of the ChatGPT Plus uh, plugin library, and you're gonna see here, or app library, I'm not sure what they're calling it right now, um, and here you go, it says here, response from photorealistic. So let me just show you how to install that first. So I'm gonna click on the new chat here. We're in a new chat, hover over the top here, switch to GPT-4. And when you drop that down, you're gonna see you got three options at the moment. This is changing almost daily, so it might be different when you watch it. And then one of them is plugins. So I'm gonna click on the plugins. And then when I do that, you're gonna see here that I've got photorealistic selected. I got this from the plugin store. If you don't have it installed, uh, just go ahead and click on the plugin store and hit install. Also note that I've got another plugin, but because there's not a check mark beside it, it is not running. So we've got photorealistic up and running. The next step for creating logos is I'm just gonna go uh, create a, a prompt for a, a logo for a minimalistic, uh, coffee shop. Let's go with just something simple like that. Hit enter. When you do that, you're going to see a few things happen here. One, it's doing its thinking, but the first thing you'll see is it says using photorealistic. Then it says used photorealistic, and then it gives us the prompt. And while it loads that up, you can click on this little down arrow and you can see exactly what the instructions were and what's coming here. So it's pretty crazy. It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty in depth. So if you ever get lost, you can always click on that arrow. Now, here's prompt one, imagine a logo for a minimalistic coffee shop. Simple, elegant coffee cup with a steam line that forms a subtle, wow, like pretty crazy stuff here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this one. Uh, and again, it created a second one. And if you don't like any of them, you can just keep on clicking until you get what you want. But I'm gonna go with this first one here because I just wanna show you the technique. So the next step is you wanna go to your mid journey. I'm also not taking the last line here because this isn't quite written correctly. Uh, you have to actually go dash dash 169 for aspect ratio. You can't use just a regular language to describe that in mid journey. So that's the one knock against photorealistic app at this time. Anyways, here we go into discord. You'll see I've already run one earlier, but I'm gonna go ahead and run the one that we just did. So forward slash imagine. And then I'm just gonna copy and paste it in here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. I will come back when it's done. It should take only a few seconds. All right, welcome back. So here are the four that we got, and they're all quite good if you ask me. This one's a little bit simple, but uh, let's go ahead with the bottom right one. This one looks a little bit more intricate, and I like it, so let's go with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on U4, which is gonna go ahead and upscale or upsample it, so to speak. And then this should only take a second, and then here we go. Here's the image clicking on it, I'm gonna right click on it, and I'm gonna go save image, and I'm going to save it into my pictures folder. So there we go, I'm gonna save it, and presto, off it goes. Now, let's go into my pictures folder, which is right here, I've even got it open, there we go, look at that. And this is it, right here. Now you'll notice it's a PNG, so it's not in scalable vector graphics, so it's not vectorized yet, so let's not panic. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a second site, it's called vectorizer.ai. I'm just gonna go to it right at the beginning. Oh, come on, Curtis, uh, didn't do that right. Vectorizer.ai, and 0 for 2. Let's just edit that out of the end here. Vectorizer.ai, third time's a charm, Curtis. Keep it up, put your helmet on, buddy. Um, okay, here we go. So Vectorizer.ai, and then I'm gonna go into the Finder. I'm gonna grab that image that we just created and upscaled in um, Midjourney. Grab it, drag it, and drop it here. You'll notice here that as I do that, I did not have to log into anything. I didn't have to create an account or anything. This just vectorizes things in seconds. It's crazy good. All right, so now you'll see here, original image, vectorized image. Gonna click on download, and then we get some options. What we want is scalable vector graphic. We want vector. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on download. If you want to go ahead and change the style, go ahead. But this is incredible right out of the box. And then when I click on this and I go show and finder, You'll see here that I've got it, and I'm gonna move this now into my pictures. 
So in pictures, now you'll see here that it says dot .svg, dot .scalable vector graphic. That is what we want. The next step is you'll see here that I've already done it, but what we can do here is we can go into Canva, and if this is if you want to put some sort of, um, maybe some text on there, for example, go ahead in Canva is, this is free to do in Canva, so I'm going to click create a design, and then uh, actually, you know what, yeah, let's just go ahead and create a design, and then I'm going to go custom size, and for this one, I'm going to go 1,000 pixels by 1,000 pixels, create a new design, and of course, it loads a new, uh, it loads a new browser up here, a new window, and then let's just grab that SVG, where is it, right here, drag and drop that in, it's going to be too small, so I'm just going to go ahead and increase the size until it's something that I like, Let's go ahead, let's make it nice and big. Yeah, okay, let's go ahead and do that. Is that too big? Uh, no, let's go ahead and we may even make it a little bigger. Let's go right to the biggest size, something like that. Okay, good, we got a really big logo here. And then I wanna go ahead and add in some text. So I'm just gonna go to the left side here, click on text. And then this one here is one I just used. It says coffee, please. So let's just go ahead and do that. Coffee, please. And then I could put that maybe somewhere down here, right in the center, and then this is too big, I guess, so I'm going to go ahead and reduce the size. So you see the, the general gist of what I'm doing here. So something like that, maybe right there, coffee please is right here, and then the background is not quite right. So I'm going to click on this white patch here on the background, and then I'm just going to go up here and click on the background color, and then let's go ahead and take a color. So I'm going to go ahead and select, I'm going to select this color here, and that's it. Now I've got coffee please. And again, this is a, I don't want to go too far into Canva, but the point is, is you can see how this goes from, you know, prompt generator and chat GPT all the way over here. This could be the end of graphic design as we knew it. That's my opinion. Thanks for watching.